This one is for the Aussies. Most of us remember completing our last census in August 2021. Well, the results are finally in. What can our latest census figures tell us about how we live and die? Are we doing better or worse than previous years? And what does this all mean for us as individuals and as a collective society? Please give us a like if you learned something new and consider subscribing to the channel as we post death and dying related videos every Friday. Now let's talk Australian death statistics. Life expectancy. Jumping right in with the big question, those born between 2019 to 2021 are expected to live to 81.3 years for blokes and 85.4 for us ladies. If you live in the ACT, this will likely be a bit longer with around 82.7 for blokes and 86.3 for women. Unfortunately, on the other end of the scale, if you live in Northern Territory, life expectancy is 76.3 years for blokes and 81 for women. Unfortunately, the Northern Territory's stats highlight the appalling life expectancy statistics for Australia's Indigenous people, with their average life expectancy being around 61.7 years, although that is up from 56.7 10 years ago. By comparison, non-Indigenous people are averaging 82 years nowadays compared to 81.3 10 years ago. Life expectancy has increased by 25 years since 1901. As we have mentioned in other videos, this stat on the surface sounds positive, but there are pros and cons to having such a high life expectancy rate. And if you're wondering how this compares to the rest of the world, Australia averages at the third highest life expectancy around the world, only behind Monaco and Japan. If we break it down further, Australian men have the second highest life expectancy compared to other men in the world, and women have the fifth highest compared to other women in the world. Infant mortality. Unsurprisingly, women are having less births in their lifetime nowadays, with the average being 1.8 children today versus 3.1 children in 1921, almost 100 years ago. Along with this is a lowering of infant mortality, with Australia having one of the lowest rates in the world, with only 3.3 infant deaths per 1,000 live births. And this rate has been steady for over a decade now. This is compared to the 70 infant deaths per 1,000 live births in 1916 and 1921. Potentially avoidable mortality. The Australian Bureau of Statistics defines potentially avoidable deaths as deaths from conditions that are potentially preventable through individualized care and or treatable through existing primary or hospital care. They include both natural diseases, including many types of cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and infectious diseases, and external causes of death, such as accidents, suicides, and assaults of people under the age of 75. In 2021, there were 26,967 people who died from potentially avoidable causes. 17,113 of these were males and 9,854 were females. This is the lowest this stat has been in 10 years. The sex ratio of 1.8 males to females has remained the same. So message to the blokes, go get yourself checked out by your doctor, right? Eh? As far as motor vehicle accidents go, there were 1,206 deaths from motor vehicle accidents in 2021, with a staggering 917 of those being men and 289 being women. Oddly enough, this rate has increased for males and lowered for females since past years. And blokes, what are you doing? At this rate, you might want to go write your will, eh? So go check out our video on that. Suicide. Heads up, skip to the next section if you don't want to hear about this topic. There were 3,144 recorded suicides in 2021, and it remains the 15th leading cause of death in Australia for non-Indigenous people and the fifth leading cause of death for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. 2,358 of these were males, which is a decrease compared to previous years, and 786 were females, which is an increase on previous years. The suicide rate was 12 deaths per 100,000 people and the median age was 44.8 years old. 45.8 for males and 42.9 for females. Almost 90% of people who died by suicide had risk factors identified including psychosocial stresses, mental health conditions, chronic diseases and substance abuse disorders. While almost three quarters of people who died by suicide were residents of New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland, it is Northern Territory which has the highest suicide rate overall at 18.4 per 100,000 people. There were 112 suicides of children in 2021, with children being defined by the Australian Bureau of Statistics as those between 5 and 17. 
56.3% of this statistic were aged 16 to 17 years old. The Australian Bureau of Statistics is not aware of any recorded suicides of children under the age of five. Suicide remains the leading cause of death in children in Australia, with the rate for boys being three per every 100,000 children and girls being 2.4 per 100,000 children. This is why we encourage parents to talk to their children about the permanence of death. So go check out our Talking to Kids About Death video for help on that. Drug-induced deaths. The ABS defines drug-induced deaths as those which are directly attributable to drug use. They include deaths due to overdose and due to chronic drug use. There were 1,704 drug-induced deaths in 2021, with this stat being slightly lower than 2020. 1,069 of these were males and 633 were females. Also, fun fact, if you don't want an autopsy when you die, then don't do drugs because 97% of drug-induced deaths will go straight to the coroner. Unsurprisingly, opioids were the most common drug class identified in toxicology for drug-induced deaths. Alcohol-induced deaths. The ABS defines alcohol-induced deaths as those where the underlying cause can be directly attributed to alcohol use, including acute conditions such as alcohol poisoning and chronic conditions such as alcoholic liver cirrhosis. In 2021, 1,559 people died of alcohol-induced deaths, with 1,156 of these being male and 403 being female. This is a 5.8% increase since 2020, and for males, this rate is the highest it's been in 10 years. However, this rate increase over 10 years is largely due to conditions associated with long-term alcohol use, including liver cirrhosis. Leading cause of death. In 2021, 171,469 people died in Australia. 52.1% were male and 47.9% were female, with the average age of death being 82. The top five leading causes accounted for more than one third of all registered deaths. These include heart disease, like coronary heart disease, which accounted for 10.1% of deaths and is our number one killer. Dementia, including Alzheimer's disease was next. Then there's this one that I can't pronounce, but includes things like stroke and cerebral aneurysm. Then there's malignant neoplasm of trachea, bronchus and lung, i.e. lung cancer. And finally, chronic lower respiratory diseases. These five leading causes of death have been the same since 2018. Further, deaths due to dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, increased by 53.8% in 2021. And health departments believe that this rate will only continue to increase with our aging population and the high average age of death in our country. Like I said, pros and cons. In case you were wondering, in 2021, COVID was the 34th leading cause of death. And as of posting this video, 18,719 have died of COVID in Australia all up. However, it was because of COVID restrictions and people washing their hands more and wearing masks that influenza and pneumonia cases were at a record low with only two reported deaths in 2021. Shocker, washing your hands and staying away from six people causes less disease, who knew? So those are the current death stats for our country. What stats surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. A bit of a dry one today, I know, but each stat does serve as a reminder of what we need to do individually and as a collective to reduce unnecessary deaths and put plans in place for the aging. We have many videos on this channel to help with this, so go take a look. And now, go talk death.